What's up, you guys? Today we are doing a little bit of it all, getting some cleaning done, organizing, decluttering. I feel as if ever since the new year happened, I'm like more into like organizing my space, decluttering, getting rid of things that no longer serve me. And that's exactly what we are gonna be doing in today's video. Also, I'm gonna be giving you guys a sneak peek of the hutch because it's finally finished. I know I've been talking about this, I feel like forever, but the video is coming soon. I already started organizing and starting that whole entire process. So I cannot wait to share with you guys the complete finished look. But today's video is definitely filled with tons of cleaning motivation for you guys to help you tackle your to-do list so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do subscribe if you're new and let's jump right into it I can't believe that you came into my life you made me feel again now it's my turn you say you've always been a little bit shy but I can put an end to your fears let me show you a place where you So here is a bit of an update on the hutch. So like I mentioned before, it is completely finished. I would say it's like 95% there. However, what was a personal pet peeve of me, of mine, sorry, is the fact that in the mirror, you can see that this is brown instead of it being white. So. As you guys already saw, I stuck my hand in between. So we ended up, well, not we. Nick ended up removing all of the glass. So I was able to come in here and sand it. And I'm gonna do a, like maybe two very light coats. And then the goal is to get all of the glass reinstalled today and then don't mind all of this this is just from me sanding um, I'm also probably gonna go over any areas where <clears throat> there's like too much like clumping and stuff like that but that can be another day I just want to be able to get it finished to the point where I can actually start putting everything in it if that makes sense where it's like this that's something I could just randomly do one weekend or something like that but yes that is where we're at so i'm gonna do um like i mentioned two very light coats a little bit later today um so that tonight we can um install the glass again and then this side was already completed because um i was able to paint inside of here it was basically this part right here that was all brown um, because we're no longer going to be using these little like brown strips that came with it. Um, we're going to use either like a white or clear, um, what is it called? Caulking maybe I think what it what it is. So that's why I needed to paint inside here to make sure that that was also white because otherwise we would have still seen the brown and that would have just annoyed me too. Overall, I think it looks really cute. I love the bees. I love the, you know, the hardware and everything like that. Um, but I am so ready for this to be finished. So the first area that I want to tackle is one, possibly two of these bins today. So we do still have this one that's pretty, you know, organized. I might start to get rid of like some of her like 
drawings, but I think overall it is pretty organized. But we definitely have like this bin that I need to go through. And then the other two are basically just going to be like all of her like Barbies, LOLs, all of that kind of stuff. So I think that is definitely going to be a bigger project. So hopefully we can do this bin today and then maybe these couple of shelves possibly up there as well because that's a hot mess um but yeah i definitely need to get this stuff organized declutter all that break stuff. up and you slam the door i messed up on the bedroom floor what the hell do we do this for i push you up but you come back that attraction we can't fight that oh keep telling So the first thing I always do is literally take everything out of the bin and then I try and categorize it and also go through and see what I actually really do need to hold on to or what I can actually throw away. This bin is like literally a mix of different things. Uh, we do a lot of crafts and I purchase like random things so I don't always want to let every single thing go just because anytime we need to like do a new craft or project or anything like that this is the bin that we always go to. So this is everything. Everything from here on out is going to be thrown in the trash. We have a little bit of like Play-Doh, um, some like painting stuff. So I'm actually going to see if I can fit like these couple of painting things in that like painting, I guess, organizer thing that we have. Um, and then I also found some extra um, brushes. So put those away as well. I do have this thing of slime and secretly I do want to throw it away. I am not a big fan of slime whatsoever. Um, but I am going to be home with her tomorrow and... I do still have to work so this will probably keep her occupied I'll probably throw this out she won't remember um I'm almost thinking about throwing this out as well it's another craft that we did I'm not even quite sure what this is so I do want to just like hold on to it in case I do happen to find what that is supposed to go to and then again like I said this is all like play-doh stuff to play with the play-doh these are things that she had made in the past so I might just put it in a baggie and store that away or ask her like how can we incorporate this into some sort of craft um this is garbage and then this is something she painted i'll see what she wants to do with that here's another seashell um and then these are all of her like painting stuff so her smocks and then also her painting clothes so in case we decide not to wear a smock we can wear these clothes they've gotten paint on them already and then these are just extra like craft supplies um we've been wanting to make like some jewelry so maybe we can do that tomorrow so i will just hold off on this but i have to figure out some way how to keep 
and put everything back in this bin but also keep everything organized as well. So I think I might have a solution because I started thinking about like what type of bins that I could use to kind of really help organize this bin and I'm almost thinking that this might work. This is actually in one of my nightstands, um, nightstand drawers, but a lot of the stuff that was in there I'm probably going to either get rid of or I have another place to put it. So let's see if this will work and Hopefully it will kind of keep together all of those like small little like knick knacks um, and things like that because that's the basic, that's basically really what I need it for is to just keep organized of all those little like crafting things and I don't ever really like to throw away too many crafting pieces because when I am home and also have to like watch her for whatever reason or it's on the weekend and it's like rainy out and we can't do anything like I like to kind of go into these bags and create something for us to like throw together because she likes crafting I like crafting so it's always just like a fun thing to do so I don't ever really like to throw too many things away just so like when we need to find something or whip something up I always come into this bin so hopefully this will work um let's see what we can do with it It's great to have a smaller size organizational piece within a bin because it helps you keep things a little bit more organized rather than just throwing everything in there and it could easily look very cluttered. Okay, so this fits perfectly. Like I am so excited that I even like thought of it. So I was able to put all of our like crafting stuff in here, keep it nice, neat and organized. I am able to put this right here if I need to. And then this opens up another kind of like cube or space, but right now I don't need it. So I'll just put that right there. And then the only other things I need to just add on top are her um, canvas stands and then her painting stuff. But this looks so much better than when we started. I know it is hard to kind of really keep um, bins organized because they're so tall and, you know, it, it's you do what you can with them, basically. But I think this looks perfect um I am going to put her I might put her cup in here as well just because it doesn't really fit into that other painting bin which I do need to go through and organize that one as well but right now we're just focusing on the bins and then this is every single thing that we can actually throw away so oh, I love decluttering and organizing things 
I also wanted to remind you guys to shop what you have around your house. Like I am a big advocate where I'll start to move my like organizational bins around and see how they work in other areas. Like I could have went out to the store, purchased something else when I literally had that piece sitting right inside my room in the nightstand. So I'm a huge advocate for shopping your home before actually going out and spending your hard earned money on stuff that you could have used and organized that is already in your own home. So super excited that really came in that really was a lifesaver. So I think we might have time to maybe go through another bin, um, but I do also want to tackle this area as well, but I'm not quite sure how I wanna organize it. I did see something at the Dollar Tree, which I think would be a really great way to organize like all of her like hair bows and, ex well not hair bows, cause we have that in the closet, but like her little like hair accessories and barrettes and all that. Um, so maybe we'll see if we can do another bin, which would then leave us with only one bin left to organize, um, which just really makes me happy. So this day I was on a roll so I decided to do another bin. This one's actually not too bad because a majority of it are her like dolls, Barbies, LOLs and all that kind of stuff like the bigger LOLs if your kids are into that. So it's not really something we could really organize but I did just want to go in there because I know we have smaller pieces like some of the poly pockets that fell to the bottom so i want to get those out so we can store them with the other poly pocket stuff So what I have in here are basically all of her Barbies and like the bigger oops, items and things like that that she plays with. And then over here, I put all of these smaller little knickknacks. I'm going to get that container and try and organize that a bit so we can fit all of that stuff in there. And then for her, um, what's it called, Polly Pockets, I think it's actually best if we put them all the way up at the top um but right now i'm not quite sure if i have the chance to really like organize everything so i may also just put those in here as well for now and then once i clear off the top of her dresser thing then i could put those pieces up there so we can get those you out of this bin. Turn up. you better be when I shake, watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead, go and catch me, baby.
I absolutely love the fact that Riley is into playing with dolls. I was an avid Barbie player for like the longest time. Me and my best friend would literally spend all day long playing with Barbies. But now that they have these like LOL dolls and surprise little pieces and knickknacks and stuff like that, they're great and everything like that. But trying to keep all of them organized is literally one of the hardest things ever. So I am going through taking everything out of these compartmentalized um, bins that I purchased off of Amazon they are in my Amazon storefront I highly recommend them but I do like to organize them every so often because like pieces get missing they end up all random places you guys know the deal if your kids also play with any type of smaller type of toy so I'm just going through and organizing them again but it is always such a huge project So we got everything organized in these small little bins. I've raved about them so many times on my channel. I will have them linked in my Amazon storefront. These are two um, like accessories, things like that for Riley. So I have to put them somewhere else. I was able to basically split them into two. <coughs> Excuse me. I was able to split them into two. This one has all of her like Barbie stuff and this one has all of her LOL stuff. This is an old crafting bin that just has some of her little other figurines and stuff like that in there. I'll probably purchase another one of these just because we're always getting new accessories and dolls and trying to keep up with all these like small tiny pieces is a bit much but I like the fact that you're able to rearrange and you can actually move um you can actually move these pieces and make them adjustable. So if you need a bigger area like the shoes or anything like that, it's easily, you could take them out. And then I do hold on to them in case I ever, you know, decide to use this for something else. But right now this works for us. Oh, I never knew love would come and find me, find me one day. All right guys, so the next area that I really want to tackle and organize, um, especially since I am in the process of organizing the pantry, so that will be a video that's coming soon. I know I keep saying this, but it's coming soon. We're finally finished. I do the big reveal, we're organizing and all that stuff. But just to help myself with that whole entire process, I do want to declutter at least the top of this um, dresser because it's a hot mess. I do probably even need to maybe even declutter some of the things in the drawer. Do I need them? Is it something that like I can give away, throw away? All of that good stuff. So that's what we're gonna be tackling. Just gonna be decluttering this corner. Also tackling the table as well. I'm still trying to figure out like what I want the table to really like look like. Do I get like a tablecloth or a runner or anything like that? I have no idea. I don't know what I want just yet, but 
we definitely need to get this situation in order so I can actually pack this bad boy up, put it away, and then I guess put the tree back in here and then we should be good to go in this space. For the most part, everything that is up on the top is something that we are going to keep. These are old um, cookies that we had made around the Christmas holiday, and they have just been sitting in these containers. So I'm removing those, putting those in the sink to be washed a little bit later. And then I'm trying to make some such sort of sense of everything that is up here. I am gonna be putting most of them into the hutch, but I want to at least clear off any random clutter, extra boxes, things that could be thrown away and get that organized. I purchased these kitchen towels from Home Goods maybe about a couple weeks ago just because these I got from IKEA. I think it was like a pack of three. Yeah, I think it was a pack of three. And they just, I don't know, they're really not good quality. I feel as if they're not like, you know, they're not going to do anything. They're very lightweight. Like they're cute. I love the print and everything like that. But I can no longer just continue to keep holding on to these. So I got these and I'm thinking about storing them in the hutch or the cabinet or figuring out a space to keep them in the kitchen. I am starting to organize and declutter there as well. So for right now, I'm just gonna leave these here until I figure out a good space for them, but these have to go. I could be lying and tell you you're fine. I could be lying the rest of the night, but I won't do it, no, no way I'm saying so. I could pretend that you're doing okay, I could give in when you want it your way, but I won't do it, no, no way I'm saying so. So we actually moved all of her snacks into the hutch, which I will be sharing with you guys clearly in that pantry organizational video. But these are all of the extras and I'm not quite sure what I wanna do with them just yet. So I just kept them in here for now. But the top drawer is the biggest mess of all times. I have so many just random things thrown in here that it was definitely about time to finally remove everything, see what I actually had. I didn't even realize how many reusable bags I had and I don't even know what to do with them all because I definitely don't need this many. I have way too many bags. I don't even know what to do with a lot of them. 
I feel as if for the most part they're in pretty good condition so I don't necessarily want to throw them away but I do know I need to store at least some of them in my car because there's been so many times when I just wanted to go like to a store or grocery shopping and I have all my bags here so what I think I'm going to do is take some of the bags put them near the door so that when I go out I know to take them and leave them in my trunk and other ones I will just have here for now until I figure out what I can do with them. But if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. But you I feel like breaking rules on the edge, looking out with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us too. Playing around without a clue on the edge, screening out. With us, it's all or nothing. Now moving on to clearing off all of the clutter on the table and it feels so good, so good to finally have my dining space back. Like I will sit on the couch and look over and I'm just like, it makes me happy because it has been a mess for literally the longest time. So now that we can actually sit at the table, do homework, eat dinner, it just like makes me like so happy. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I feel as if we got a good amount of stuff done, at least starting the process of decluttering and organizing. I definitely have some more areas that I need to tackle. So make sure that you guys are subscribed for future videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys right back here in my next video. Bye. Always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong Yeah, you better step into the light Just give it a try Think that it's time you let that spark out. What's up, you guys? The day is finally here where we are going to be organizing and styling the hutch. It is completely finished, and I cannot wait to share with you guys the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you're new, and let's jump right into the video. The hutch is finished, guys. There are definitely little parts that I do need to kind of like touch up, 
but overall we can really get this thing organized and I know that's what you guys have all been waiting for. So the first thing I'm going to do is just wipe down um, these areas because of the sanding and stuff that we had to do and then we will clean out the drawers a little bit. I think they need to be um, just vacuumed but that's kind of about it and then we're going to start organizing it and making this look like a pantry so we can get our dining area back in order, right? So you guys already know I have my little helper here. She was just as excited as I was. She has been here through the entire process helping me out the whole entire time. So we are really excited to finally be done. Also, like I mentioned, there are little areas that I do need to touch up. Like you guys saw when I was wiping it down, the back area I need to hit with the brush. But again, that is something that I can do along the way as long as the overall hutch is completely finished. That's all I could ask for. Next thing we need to do is vacuum all of the little like dustings and stuff out of there. And then to protect the bottom, I am going to be lining it with this grip print. I got it from, I got it from Target. I will have it linked below for you guys in case you're interested. It's the same ones that I have in the kitchen cabinets. So I was trying to figure out what was the best way to line these drawers. Do I do it horizontally or do I do it vertically? And I ended up going the vertical route because I felt like that was easier on me. Um, as you can see, I'm struggling a little bit as I place it horizontally. So vertical is definitely the better way to go. Also, after lining all of my kitchen cabinets, I decided to use a razor this time instead of scissors because it was going to allow me more precise lines and really make sure the drawers look really, really nice. I will also say, if you guys are gonna be using any type of razor, please be careful because I did end up cutting myself a little bit and had to put a Band-Aid on. So if you're using a razor, please be careful.
So we got the drawers all lined. It was a little bit harder um, than I expected, but I like how it turned out. I did cut myself a little bit, so I put on a band-aid and we're gonna keep this going. So Riley chose the middle drawer to be her snack drawer. So that's where we're gonna start. And then I'm going to figure out what I wanna put in the other two drawers. Now in the dresser that we originally had, remember I used these little dividers and i was able to take them out of the dresser because you guys know we did use like the little stickies um but you can remove it it didn't damage the drawer at all but i don't think i really sorry i don't think i really want to use that in the hutch china cabinet whatever you guys want to call it um at least not in the strap snack drawer just because like it didn't really work um, the way I thought it was going to. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to use these bins. It came in, I believe, a three pack from Target. It's Target's Light Broom. I believe it's Target's line, but it's a, the Light Broom. I'll put it up on the screen and also have it linked down below for you guys. It's that brand. Um, it was really affordable and I was using it different places around my apartment, but I'm going to repurpose these. It was two of these big ones and then a skinny one. So we're gonna see if that fits nicely in the drawer and then start to organize all of her snacks. Always in me, Commonwealth, Mel Jones, getting love from my city. Yeah. I roll call for the DMV. In my own lane, you could still ride with me. Yeah. I thought for the drawer using bins would be better than those actual dividers that I used in the dresser but you guys will end up seeing that I have switched things around so many different times and that's the thing when it comes to organizing it's all about trial and error and finding out what way is going to work best for you. So this is all the extra stuff that we do still have. I'm not quite sure where I want to put it. As you guys can see, we have extra fruit snacks and also these graham crackers. So I might just like try and store them somewhere because we're getting rid of this. And then I do also have this big bag of um, Cheetos that she likes. Um, some of this stuff I am going to throw out like this and this so I can get rid of that. And then... I do have some cinnamon sticks, which I will hold on to. I believe these are bad as well. These are, I guess, extra bags, not quite sure. And this is tea. So I need to just go through all of this stuff. I also need to figure out where I'm gonna put all of her like candies and like dessert snacks and stuff like that. So that is basically the biggest thing. Um, trying to figure out what I should do with the extra stuff. So I'm not quite sure what to do with these bags. I'm almost thinking about putting them in my car. This way, if I ever need to go food shopping, I already have um, bags in there, but I didn't even realize how many of these reusable bags I actually have. And I did already give some away to family and friends. So 
not quite sure what I should do with them. Um, this top drawer, I'm still trying to figure out. Um, we are going to go to Home Goods and Marshalls later today. So I might try and find something to like organize the teas and um, the liquid IVs and things like that. Um, but I think we're going to pause on the drawers for just a second and then tackle this space because I do want to put all of her like extra juice boxes and extra maybe even snacks store them in here um for now so they're not just sitting on the floor So I wasn't really sure how I wanted to organize these two cabinets on the end. I thought it would be perfect to store all of Riley's extra like juices, things like that. And then I was trying to make sense of all of her like lunch containers, but they just did not seem to be working. I wasn't really happy with it. And then I decided to actually switch that out and put all of our extra waters, my protein drinks and store them there rather than having them sit in the cases on the floor. I decided to switch things up and actually start organizing and styling the cabinets up top because I had more of a vision as to what I was looking for. I knew I wanted to display the tea set that my grandma had gotten her. And then I also had some, you know, like fancier, like wine glasses, champagne glasses. Some of them my grandma gave. So I thought that these would be perfect to put in the top. And then we will figure out what we're gonna do with the rest of the drawers and cabinets down below. Quick update, so I ended up switching everything that was in here to over here only because it's easier to put everything into the refrigerator um, because these are all just like extra drinks, snacks, all of the good stuff. So figured it'd be better right here. And then over here, I had an idea. So for my um, Instant Pot, I was originally had it in the cabinet in the kitchen, but it was just way too big and the cabinet wouldn't close. So I want to see if I could possibly fit it underneath here and then we can store some more stuff at the top. I also purchased a set of these. So it came with four of them and they basically just stack on top of each other. I thought these would be perfect for storing like wine. Um, and I also wanted to put it in this corner just because like I'm the only one who's clearly drinking wine in here. So just to kind of keep everything in the corner um, and a drawer that she or a door that she won't really open it. All right, so I purchased um, this over the door organizer for um, the hutch and unfortunately it's a little bit too big, like it's too wide. So it's this piece and it has a piece that like literally will go over the door so I don't have to drill into it, which is nice. And then it has like this little basket that I need to um, attach. And what I was thinking about was putting, um, maybe like our foil and all that stuff and put it on the door for extra storage. However, let me show you guys. Let me put it on. Yeah, so it's See how wide. it's just too wide? So I'm gonna have to 
return it. Um, and I guess maybe see if I can find like just a skinnier one. And then this way I can store, let me grab this out, like the tin foil and stuff on the door. But now that I think about it, like it wouldn't close here. So maybe I need to find something else that I can kind of like store and use um, the door as extra storage. So we are done for today, but these are all of the boxes that I was able to um, get rid of just based on everything that we were able to store in the hutch. Um, it's still a work in progress, but we were able to move the table back to the center. And then this is what it looks like with the lights on. Like, so really, really cute. I'm really excited about it. So tomorrow what we are gonna do is clear off the entire top. And then also everything that's still stuck in the drawers so we can organize that. We do still have this whole entire side. And yes, I do still need to get a mirror to fit that piece. And then we also have the top piece up here as well. Um, plus the bottom and top drawer to organize. So we do have space. It's just more of just trying to like, you know, figure everything out. I did put the small little jars that we picked up from Home Goods. I shared this with you guys in a haul a couple of videos back. So I just need to clean those out and then we are going to use the Cricut to label them. I was thinking about doing flour, sugar, oats, possibly. Um, but I'm still trying to figure that out. And then in here, at least at the bottom or the middle part, I wanted to maybe put all of my um, stuff for smoothies in here. Um, so that is the thought for right now. And I, me and Bobby's going to go to Target. Yes, we're going to go to Target and, and Home Goods. And guess what? I'm from Target. I'm getting. What are you getting? Um, water scrubbies. Water scrubbies, yes. All right, guys, so today we are finishing styling and organizing the hutch. The other day I went to Home Goods to try and find some type of like organizational system for our teas, but I just really did not find that much. Like I was like disappointed, and I feel like that's the second Home Goods that I went to. Um, I did end up settling on this like four piece organizational system. It has two medium ones, a small one, and an extra small. Um, I was just more interested in the longer ones i feel like that would be perfect for our teas and you know what else like random stuff that we have in here i did end up purchasing some new snacks so i want to redo the snack drawer a bit um nothing major but just like redo it a little bit and i'm almost wondering if i do need another drawer to use one of the other drawers for snacks but we will see, we do also need to organize and style this last section over here and then label the jars. So we have a lot of stuff that still needs to get done. I could be lying and tell you you're fine. I could be lying the rest of the night. It had actually been a few days since I had originally started organizing everything and by that time snacks had been eaten and I just had a better vision for what I was looking for. So I ended up taking out the other containers because I didn't like the fact that we were losing out on so much space closer to the end of the drawer and I wanted to get as many of the chips in there as possible. I had also gone to the grocery store. I went to Costco that day and picked up some extra snacks and wanted to fill the drawer with those as well.
This is how we have it for right now. I can fit this other piece in here, but then I would have to get rid of the foil. And honestly, I'm not quite sure what I would want to put in here. So I'm going to leave it like this for now, unless something else comes to me. Um, maybe I can even just put these rice cakes there too, for now. <laughs> and then also all of the extra fruit snacks and graham crackers i just put them in this little gold bin i actually picked it up from the dollar tree so i got two of them i had a spot for them but it just did not work but i think it fits perfect right here The hutch is really coming along. We got the two dressers all neat and organized. So we really just need to organize the last one. We have my like healthy station. I really like how it turned out. Um, there are a couple of items that are in the sink that need to be washed and cleaned. So once those are done, I will put them in there. So the only thing left to do is to label and fill up those jars. So those are already cleaned, washed from earlier today. And I'm gonna be using my Cricut Joy to to label them and show you guys just how easy it is. I'm excited, I hope you guys are excited. So now let me show you guys just how easy it is to use. I absolutely love my Cricut Joy because it's compact, super easy to use. I like the fact that it can connect to my phone as well as the computer. So you don't have to worry about taking up too much space. If anything, the hardest part was finding a font that I liked. I didn't want something too skinny. I wanted something a little bit thicker, a nice little script. And I ended up just playing around with a couple of the different fonts and finally found the one that I liked. Now it's time to actually fill them up. I did purchase these from Home Goods. I did a shop with me where you guys saw the ones I picked up, but I will try and find these online somewhere or something similar in case you guys are interested in organizing your pantry as well.
right, so I do still have these containers as well. Clearly this one is filled with all of the candy, but this one did have rice in it. So I'm going to put the rice in here. I'm not quite sure what I want to put in this one. Like I have pasta, unless I put the rice in here and the pasta in there. I could probably do that. And then I will just put that up at the very top. So let's do a quick tour of the pantry. So on this side, we have all of our like fancier glasses, um, also Riley's tea set up at the top, and then our fancier dishes. In the middle is going to be the nice um, tea set my grandma gave her. And then up at the top, we have rice, candies, pasta, and down at the bottom, we have oats, sugar, and flour. I didn't want to put these up at the top just because I felt like they might be too heavy. So I liked them down at the bottom. Then we have like my healthy section. So at the top is going to be all of the pieces for my Nutribullet. I also have my Bellway um, fiber. And then here is basically going to be everything I would need to make a smoothie. I have the chia seeds, flaxseed, MCT oil, my whey protein powder, collagen, and then the C4. This is basically what I take before I go to the gym. And then I've really been enjoying the Bloom Greens. I actually need to get some more. So I keep this here as well. And then down at the bottom, I do have a third um, larger cup. So I will put that in there once that's washed. I have those right there and then my um like to go water um cups i have two more those are both dirty so i'll put those in there as well over to the right hand side where um it's closer to the window i have all of my wines up at the top and then i have my instant pot down at the bottom this is like literally the perfect place to put it because it doesn't fit in my um, cabinets i also wanted to put this stuff over here because it's not really stuff that riley would ever need to grab for same thing for the top so i just wanted it kind of like more out of the way <coughs> I did update the drawers just a little bit from the last time you guys saw them. So I was able to fit all of her school lunch containers, like, you know, pack up to go containers for like meal prep and stuff like that. Um, and then I just used this small little bin to organize any of these small little containers. When I send Riley to school with mozzarella sticks or chicken nuggets, I like to put ketchup and marinara sauce in there. So we do use that. And then I have my cheesecloth and then these are just like silicone um, toppings. So when I need to put um, something away in the refrigerator, I can put that on top. Also made a small adjustment to the snack drawer. So we have all of our chips and all the good stuff. And then I ended up using that small um, container in here to add more of these granolas. 
this is the same and then I ended up just adding the candy right here because Riley really, really likes to have like a dessert. So this is a quick little snack she can grab. <coughs> and then the last drawer, not too much. I don't think I've changed this at all. So we have just extra stuff for like baking, crackers, popcorn. I do have my liquid IV stuff. Um, also this lemonade mixture because when I want like juice, I want juice. But these are a really great alternative along with some crystal light. So you can have the juice while also still making sure that you're containing a lot of water. So that helps with weight loss. Um, in here, oh, I did end up adding the hot cocoa packs. We only had three. I thought they fit perfectly with the teas. I kept the rice cakes here. These are old. Um, these are extra um, like party bags. This is what I used when we made the pot puri. So, you know, there's always something that will come up. So I can definitely use that. I have my foil. I will probably eventually put that in the kitchen once I get that space organized. But for now, it can stay here. And then these are sandwich bags and snack bags, which are perfect to grab when I am making her school lunch. Oh, I did forget this side. Over on here, I ended up just putting that bin up at the top because we did end up taking out um, one of the boxes for the little bites. And then I did need to restock on her juice and put that in the fridge. So that freed up space to put all of the extra snack bags and sandwich bags. And then here are just the goldfish and her cinnamon toast crunch. An easy grab for her um, in the morning or an afternoon. And then of course, down at the bottom is where I have all of my water and my protein drinks. I also wanted to show you guys, this is everything that I am able to throw away just from organizing everything in the bins and the jars and all of that stuff. So I cannot wait to put this out. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know so many of you guys have been invested and following from day one to see how this hutch turned out. I absolutely love it. I'm able to store so much more stuff to the point where my kitchen cabinets are almost bare, which is also a good thing because then I'm able to really organize everything and make that look nice. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit the red subscribe button down below and I'll catch you guys right back here in my next video. Bye. Shadows way too long. What's up you guys? So today we are jumping right in and getting some much needed cleaning done around my apartment. There were certain areas that were a bit of a mess that I was trying to get back under control. So today's video is jam packed with tons of cleaning motivation for your everyday cleaning routine. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you're new and let's jump right into the video. Cause you're a work of art So I want to throw these into the wash. There's a couple stains here and there. I'm honestly not even sure if I'm going to be able to get them out. This is from eating pasta. And I think there's another one that might have a little bit of maybe paint on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to use my Folex carpet spot remover. Again, I literally use this on everything. It's by far my favorite spot cleaner. Spray that down and then I'm going to throw these into the washing machine and hopefully we can get um, at least some of these stains out.
So I feel like my living room is a little bit messier than it usually is and that's because in the morning we have cut down on a lot of screen time. In the past Riley would wake up and immediately want to watch her shows and that's basically all she did besides eating breakfast but lately we've been playing a lot more and then within the like last half hour or so when I'm really trying to get her like hot lunch in order, grab everything, get myself dressed, that's when she'll watch about 30 minutes of TV and then we'll head out the door so the fact that we're playing a lot more is really great I feel like we're connecting at the beginning of the morning but that also makes more of a mess which I'm completely okay with but I definitely want to make sure to get that tackled and put everything back in its place So now that we got everything all tidied up and cleaned and the dining area and hutch is finally back to like what I want it to be, it's time to move this guy back into the dining area. I did like having it here, however, where I had to put the basket for all of our um, blankets, it just, it didn't cut it and I have no idea where else I could put it. So I'm going to move that over there and finish up the laundry we got this conversation and you seem to agree with me but when there's complications you withdraw and leave me to be when there's a problem you become like a wall and every time i trip it's a free fall why don't you have It took me a couple of minutes to get used to not having this tree in this corner anymore, but I do like the fact having the basket full of blankets back over here because it was blocking the curtains. So I was having a little bit of trouble there and I do like having the tree in this corner. I feel like it was like missing something and the tree is the perfect fit for this space. I do wish I actually had a higher planter, but you know, I'm just going to use what I have and it will be okay.
having our shoes here is just gonna have to work, but I found a solution and I already measured, cause you guys already know me with measuring, but there is a like skinny shoe um, organizer at Ikea that will fit perfectly right in here. I think it will end up coming out like maybe that far. So it still gives us the whole length of the hallway where we can put all of our shoes in there. So I just have to figure out when I have a chance to go all the way to Ikea. I'm actually starting to make a list of the different things that I wanted to get. Um, so yeah, cause I can't stand just having all of the shoes right here. So having that little like shoe organizer will be perfect. I placed an order for Amazon the other day and I want to show you guys what I got. I picked up two items and I wasn't quite sure which one was going to be the better fit. So you guys can help me decide. So I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan of the laundry baskets that we have in my room and also in Riley's room. So <clears throat> these are the two suggestions or options that I have. Ooh, I don't like the white one. Oh. Okay. So, these are laundry baskets that can either go over the door or it can actually like hang on the door. It comes with these. Stickies and hooks. Came in a pack of two. Um, I got the one that was gray and then also this white one. I thought for some reason this white one was more of like a solid, um, not fabric, but like a solid like this, like the gray one. But it's like completely mesh. I'm not a, the biggest fan, but it is what it is. So I was thinking that these could either go on the back of each of our doors or on the inside of our closet doors. This way, like you don't have to see the hamper. I kind of like that idea. So we'll go into each of the rooms and see what that looks like. That was option one. The second option is a thinner laundry basket that I was thinking we could put in the bathroom. Now I am very limited on space in the bathroom. So what I was thinking, this could go right underneath um, where, what is it? Where like the towel rack is, but again, so it's like very skinny and slim. And then this way Riley and I will just like share because most of the time you're taking your clothes off to hop in the shower. So I like this, this came in a white, black, a light gray and a dark gray. I just thought that the light with the darker gray, yeah, I think I got this is the darker gray, yeah, would be the better fit. And then it does also have like a little 
mesh piece at the top. Um, and then inside you just like insert it into the four corners to make it stand up properly. So let's see which option is best because I knew I was going to be returning one of them. Hopefully at least one of them works because if both of them don't work, I don't know what else to do. But those are the two laundry options that I got. And then, oh, this is small. Okay, so right at the front door, I am thinking about doing some sort of like command station where you guys already see that we have a little calendar or I don't even know if I ever showed it to you. So I'll show you guys the little calendar we had at the Target dollar section at the beginning of the year. They had these cute little like coloring calendars. So each um, one has like each month has a picture and then your child can color it. So I thought that was really cute. Riley's enjoying it. Um, and then this way we can kind of keep up with all of the stuff for school because each day of school is a different letter. So like whether she has like dance or gym or, you know, music, that tells me what type of sneakers or shoes that she has to wear. On PE and dance days, she has to wear sneakers. All the other days she can wear whatever she wants. So like I like to have a calendar to make sure that I am sending her the right things. Um, but then I also wanted to get a small little piece to, you know, I wanted it to be acrylic. I didn't want it to be anything else where we can put the mail. But like, this is super tiny. Like, I thought this was gonna be bigger. Like, what mail is this really fitting? Not that I want something huge, but I don't know. Let's go see this first and then I will show you guys the, um, I'll show you guys the calendar. So this is the cute little calendar that we got from Target. So clearly we're on February. We already colored it and then this just lets me know what day of the week and what letter for school and all of that good stuff. And we already started on March. I think we just have April left to do. So I was thinking about having this here maybe putting something here i don't know i didn't fully think when i put the calendar up um but i was almost thinking about having something here so when we get mail i could just easily you know throw the mail in here but i just feel as if it's a little bit small so i got some mail and actually it does kind of work it doesn't need to be anything bigger and then i was thinking about getting you know, any type of like little hook or something like that and installing that on the bottom so that I can just then hang my keys up as well. Or I can do like a small little command hook to put my keys on. But unless I do that like this, maybe, maybe it might work. What do you guys think? Like here or like here? <laughs> Or do I maybe move the calendar over a bit? I I still have to figure it out. And then down at the bottom could be, um, maybe I could get some type of like umbrella um, bin so that we can put our umbrellas in there and we don't have to worry about getting them um, wet, like the floor wet. So we'll see. Uh, but that was the thought process for that is to be able to put my mail up. Let me know what you guys think. So here is the option for the first um, laundry basket, which will then also free up space in both of our rooms. We do still have space and it fits like just perfectly right there. So this is option one. And the second option would be to either have it hanging on the inside of the closet or what I might do for my room. I do need to take my robe out and put it on the back of the door here. So let me know which option you guys like. I think I'm gonna like sit with it for a second and see, do I want it one? Do I wanna go with this option or the one in the bathroom. The good thing with the one in the bathroom is it consolidates two laundry baskets to one. And then also the fact that because it is smaller, 
I can't let the laundry overflow because the basket's a lot smaller. So I'm kind of leaning towards that one and just putting it in the bathroom, but I'm gonna keep it there for right now and just see how, like what I think. I'm also like second guessing, like should I have gone with a white, but I felt like that was a little bit too much white because the like rug is, the bath mat is white too. Um, I don't know, these also feel like a little bit like cheaper. You know what I mean? Like maybe, not saying like college, but like, you know, college days, you kind of like purchase things that are a little bit cheaper, you don't care. Um, that's what this is kind of giving me a little bit. So I'm kind of leaning towards option number one, but please let me know down in the comments or if you guys even have any other suggestions, that would be great too. So don't mind this bag <laughs> right here. This is basically, actually besides this purse, but this is basically the bag of things that I need to um, give to the Goodwill. I'm trying to kind of like throw things in as I see them. So I probably should put those in a bag and then put them in my car, but they're sitting right there for right now. And then, these are the cute, adorable Valentine's Day uh, gifts for Riley's classmates. I showed them to you guys before. They're little Play-Doh kits. And then last night I created these cute little tags. How cute are these? So I was working on these last night. The only thing is they're a lot smaller because there's 15 kids in the class and I was just trying to fit everything onto one piece of paper to be printed out. So I'll most likely be going to Michael's Hobby Lobby, one of those, getting some pink cardstock and then I will tape or glue these onto the cardstock to make them a little bit thicker and then put a hole in them so that we can put the ribbon through. So that is going to be really really cute i actually have an additional two however her teacher has two kids so i might even just like say hey give one to your kids too that would be cute and then also for i found this this was in my closet up at the top so it's a cute white bin and I also have another one of these in Riley's room. And basically, I'll show you guys what I was thinking for these. So what I was thinking about using these bins um, to put them in her, um, I guess, what is this, like storage shelf thing. I went to Target the other day to see if I can find more of these bins. And I even searched my Target app um, for the exact ones because I always like to scan it. And I don't think they sell these anymore. <laughs> so then I was just trying to think like, okay, if they don't sell them anymore, maybe I could do like, because they have like white um, dots on them, maybe do like pink and white and kind of like do something like that. But then I was like, wait, hold up. For, I completely forgot that I had these and I found them the other day. So I'm almost thinking maybe I can use these for right now and kind of, um, store her things in there this way it just looks a little bit better so i'm gonna see if i can do that because i'm gonna turn you guys around you guys are gonna see just how bad 
her stuff is. Again, it's a mess. Again, <laughs> I feel as if like I will get her toys looking like really cute, really nice. And then, you know, she plays with it one time and it's a hot old mess. I don't even think all of the bins are even really like that organized anymore. For the most part, they are, but there are just some random things thrown in there. She had a friend over yesterday, so of course, you got, you know, they took everything out and all that stuff. Some of you guys mentioned not doing the bins, but this is the reason why I'm thinking I want to. So, I've heard of, what is it, toy rotation or rotating toys. And I kind of want to see if I can dip my toe into that because basically you, I guess like you hide them, but like, I don't know how that would really work for me, but I'm almost thinking that if I have the toys in the bins, whatever I have out that is displayed or I don't know. Yeah, I guess like maybe whatever I have out that's displayed, that is what she can play with. And then it's almost the excitement of when we rotate the toys and pull something out that she hasn't played with in a long time, she'll play with it more. Because basically from my understanding of what toy rotation is, is kids have so many toys, right? And they can feel so overwhelmed with everything they have to play with so that when it is time to play, either one, they don't really know where to start or two, they just take everything out and it easily becomes a hot mess. And I almost feel as if that's the situation that I'm dealing with right now. So I really kind of just want to get that under control. Um, and I do think having the bins and not visibly seeing certain things will help. So we're gonna see, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to like somewhat organize them right now, but um, that is definitely what I want to tackle. Uh, about to head out for a walk, but I wanted to see and put these um, cushions back on. For the most part, it does look like the stains came out, but let me show you guys. So you can see a little bit of the stain from the um, pasta sauce, but honestly, it's not that bad. So I will probably just put it back on the chair like this. Um, this one stain came out, so that's good. And then these two stain is out and stain is out. This is why I love this stain cleaner because for the most part it gets almost everything out. I am back from my walk and today was literally one of the perfect days here in New Jersey. It was about 60 degrees, so just getting outside, it was nice and sunny, having the sun hit my face was just exactly what I needed. The last area I wasn't able to tackle earlier on in the day was the kitchen. There is a sink full of dishes. So I'm gonna start off by unloading the dishwasher. Everything is clean and dried. And then I'm going to try and fit as many dishes into the dishwasher as possible. I no longer like hand washing dishes as much as I used to, but there were a couple of extra dishes that I was not able to fit in, which I did need to hand wash.
I usually like to save a majority of my cleaning for the weekends, but this particular weekend is going to be so busy. Riley has swim class, a birthday. We're gonna have my best friend and godson over just to like hang out and stuff. She also has a project for school and there's just so many things that need to get done. I need to wash her hair. We need to do, you know, run errands, all of that stuff. So I'm just trying to get as much cleaning done as possible. So it's one less thing that I have to worry about over the weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far into the video and you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit the red subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys right back here in my next video. Bye. You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. what's up you guys welcome back so in today's video we are going to be decluttering and organizing my kitchen now that i finished the hutch i have so much more space in the cabinets that i now need to figure out a better system to organize everything in here i feel as if like all the cabinets are a hot mess the two shelves at the bottom of the cart are a mess and I just can't live like this anymore. So I purchased a bunch of things off of Amazon. So I'll do a quick little Amazon haul and also hopefully be able to figure out a better system in the kitchen to get that all organized because you guys already know I love a good organized space. So I figured let's work on that, especially because we're trying to be a little bit more healthier and an organized kitchen is definitely going to help me do all of that. So First things first, I think what I want to do is focus on particularly this kind of like these three cabinets right here. In my opinion, they are the worst. So I'll show you guys the before and then we will see the after and it will look so much better. So this is what it's looking like. A mess. Like, please tell me that this is not a mess. Like, of course, I've seen worse, but overall it's a mess like things are literally just like thrown in here the same thing with this cabinet as well so I really just want to figure something else out
So we have everything taken out. All of the shelves are lined except for the very one at the top. I do still have more of that liner, so I will probably line the top one. I'm not quite sure what I want to do just yet. There are some items that I don't want to actually put back, but it's going to have to sit to the side because we have a lot of organizing that needs to get done. I purchased two of these tier um, shelving units from Amazon. I'll have them linked on my Amazon storefront. So I was thinking about putting them on the bottom shelf, maybe the top, but more likely on the bottom shelf to organize at least all of the cans that I have. And then I was almost thinking about using the second one to organize all of my spices. So let's see how that works. In the beginning, I was having trouble trying to store the larger cans, but I did find a solution, so I will show that to you guys once I'm done. So far we have everything the way I want it. So I'm thinking about using the second tier shelf um, to organize all of my spices. I was actually hoping that this would fit in the smaller um, cabinet, but it just doesn't. But this is still perfect because it's still close enough to the stove for me to be able to cook. Um, so I'm hoping that I can fit all of my spices on there. Also, the only bad thing I will say is the fact that it has this like higher piece to it only because the larger cans up at the top can't fit all the way down, but they're at least able to sit on top of it. So I'm going to see if I can find a stackable one without that kind of like extra, I guess like plastic if you want to call it, because I think that will definitely work a lot better depending, you don't have to worry about the size of your cans. Now moving on to this drawer where I have all of my spices. This is like the dirtiest and the worst drawer possible. So we definitely need to get this in order as well. And then I do want to use this um, drawer to store other items. I was a little bit surprised with how many spices I actually had and thankfully I was able to fit them all perfectly. I have some of these jars of like sauces when I had gone to, I believe it was like Mexico or something like that, but they've been sitting there for so long, it's definitely time to throw those away.
Now that we have all of the spices taken out, I'm gonna go through this drawer to see what's actually in here. You guys could clearly see that I could barely even like open the drawer, so I wasn't quite sure what exactly was in here. I had an idea, but honestly, you're never really going to know until you thoroughly take every single thing out. There was a bunch of crumbs in here, so I'm gonna be vacuuming everything, and then I'm going to reorganize these small little bins. I had purchased these from the Target dollar section. I randomly found them, and I thought they would be perfect for this little island. I knew I wanted to store all of my kitchen towels in here. So originally I started by rolling them and I realized I wasn't able to fit that many in. So I ended up folding them in thirds and was able to fit so many more in there. Things are coming along. So I think that this cabinet is finished and complete. I need to figure out a situation for like this side and also the stuff at the top. But I think for now it looks a whole lot better than it was before. So now we are going to tackle this one. I do have something that I purchased that I'm hoping will help organize all of this stuff. These placemats I was hoping would fit up at the top, but they're just too large, so I might need to store them underneath the um, kitchen cart. And then this drawer is looking really nice. I love take. I love that I took out all of the spices um, because I feel as if it kind of opens the space up a bit. I have all of my kitchen towels, all of the essentials I need for cooking, so we're good here. And then of course we do still need to tackle 
these two shelves at the bottom. So the organizational system that I purchased was a two tier. So I knew I needed to move the top shelf up so I could potentially move the second shelf up as well. But when I put it all the way up at the top, I wasn't able to fit any of my like cornstarch, the pancake mix. And I knew I also needed to have that shelf. So I ended up lowering it back down to where it was. And then you guys will see in just a second, the two tier shelf was a little bit too long depth wise. So I wasn't able to actually close the cabinet. So I ended up going back with the same system I originally had and it turned out really great. So you guys will see that in just a second. So I purchased this two tier like system off of Amazon, thinking it would be perfect to organize all of like our medicines, vitamins, all of that kind of stuff. But unfortunately it fits this way, but it comes out just a little too much. We can't even close the cabinet. So this is a fail. I don't learn from me y'all, please please measure your stuff before buying it. So I think what we're gonna do is just stick with what we have and then I'm gonna go through all of the medicine, see what we can get rid of, organize. I feel like you can never have too much medicine, especially as a mom, like there's so many things that like kids get from different allergies to being sick. So you have nighttime medicine, daytime medicine, allergy medicine, you know, vitamins, nasal sprays, like you name it, we have it. But I was able to at least consolidate some of it and also organize everything. So I had most of Riley's stuff in this container. And then I had a couple of like cough drops that my mom had given me when I had gotten sick. So I ended up using this other white container to store all of that stuff. So this cabinet is not how I had envisioned it, but I think for the I think we have this shelf 
pretty well organized. I want to, I might go to Home Goods today and see if I can find like another little small container like this one so we can put, you know, all of their just random candies for colds and you know all of that stuff up there um just to make it look a lot nicer but overall it's way better than it was before so we have this one complete this one complete and then the next cabinet that i want to tackle is going to be this one honestly it really isn't that bad um i was able to free up a lot of space when i put like our fine nicer like um, plates and cups in the hutch but I do want to organize it a little bit more all of Riley's cups all of my cups I honestly could get rid of some of those cups so it makes no sense holding on to them wake up at your place wake up at mine same question I'm getting tired We could have breakfast Got in your freckles Close to the west coast How about that? Why don't we just get a place together? Morning's in our own bed So much better Balconies and bathtubs What you want? Why don't we just get Clearly in this cabinet, I had the space to hold all of these cups, but I wanted to keep all of my mugs on one side, Riley's cups on another, and then I wanted to put all of my like Yeti cups all the way up at the top. They're not ones I really grab for too often, but sometimes you never know. You might have a friend over or, you know, you want to switch up your cup a little bit. So I did hold on to some of them, but I also made sure to get rid of a lot of them as well. Moving on over to the kitchen island, honestly, this was a hot mess. I literally basically have just thrown things in here. Also, I highly recommend getting a cart like this. It was super inexpensive. I wanna say it was about $130 from Amazon. It also came in white. So if you have a smaller kitchen like myself and you need some more counter space, definitely make sure to grab this. It was super easy to put together. I will make sure to have it linked in my Amazon storefront for you guys. I'm trying to figure out what stuff I can put on the second shelf. I want it to be things that I am always grabbing for. I do use a lot of my appliances on an everyday basis. Also, these are um, like a bowl, like a set of bowls when it comes to cooking, all of that good stuff. So I'm thinking about keeping all of the appliances and the bowls on the second shelf. And then I'll take any of the extra flower vases, drink vases. This is for a craft that I want to do with Riley in the spring. We're going to make like a cute little um, bird feeder. I saw it on Pinterest. I thought it was so cute. You guys already know. 
I like crafts. So I want to hold on to this. So I'm almost thinking that it might be best to put everything up in that cabinet. I don't really have anything in there now that I took the Instant Pot out. And then I'll probably also store any of the extra fridge bins, um, freezer molds for ice in here. I think that will probably work best. Here is the finished look of the kitchen cart. It looks so much less cluttered, which is really nice. I'm able to easily grab for any of my appliances. And what I'm almost thinking about doing, I haven't really found anything just yet. I probably need to go to the container store, but I want to get like a wire basket. I'll see if I can find a picture of it so I can put it up on the screen so I can put it right here and put any potatoes onions stuff like that it could just sit right in there um so I just need to make I guess like a little bit more room but I I have it I don't want anything huge because it's just me and Riley and we're not really buying that much um when it comes to like onions and potatoes but it would be nice to have like a little place to put all of it so that is the only other thing that I need to do. The last area that we're going to be tackling is this cabinet under here. It is a hot old mess. Things are just randomly thrown in there. There's even things that I know I can get rid of. Um, but to store all of the tops and stuff, I did purchase this item from, where is it, from Amazon. So I'll have that linked below, but I'll show you guys in just a second. So this is the piece that I purchased from Amazon. So I'm going to have part of it hang over the door. And if I need extra, it does come with this second piece. So if you have like a longer, uh, if you have a longer cabinet, it comes with some hardware so you can attach it like this. But then it also comes with these like sticky hooks that you can use to put on the inside of it or even on the door. So I'm going to take every single thing out. I know that there are some things that I need to dispose of and then we'll go from there. I realized a piece of the liner head must have fallen out or I don't know what happened to it. So I cut another piece, put that in there, and I thought I was actually going to be able to get away with just like half of the lid organizer, but I realized clearly I'm only able to fit two. So I went to grab the hardware and I combined the two so I'm able to get four of the tops hanging on the door.
So up here at the top is going to be all of my extra flower vases, drinkware, um, fridge, storage organizers, freezer, ice molds, and then that um, juice container for the craft for the spring. And then down here is going to be my cabinet with all of my um, cookware. This, you know, is a little flimsy, so I might try and see how I could get those, um, those like sticky things to put on here a bit. Also, it was a little bit hard taking that bigger pot in and out with this but overall I really don't use that pot that often and if I really want to boil any water I can always just use my caraway stuff so it's not the biggest like deal for me at least but it is nice to have these organized on the door because it opens up a lot more space for me there's only one more pan that I need to put in here I could probably put my um our place pot in here too I'm going to see if I can do that so this way it doesn't have to sit on the stove okay so that looks a lot better my only concern is can this close with it and no so i think having this on here might be what it is and it doesn't really fit so my our place pot will not be able to fit in here and that's fine honestly I like displaying it on my stove anyway as long as the majority of the stuff is still neatly organized in here I'm good I'm not gonna complain as for everything that I am going to throw away dispose <clears throat> this oversized um, strainer, I got it from Ikea. It was very inexpensive, so I don't feel bad throwing that away. I, oh, I already have the one down at the bottom, and because I have a small apartment, I don't need bulky items like this. I absolutely never even use it. All of these extra cups, the ones with the tops, and this one I haven't ever used, I will donate this. These two have been used, so I kind of feel weird donating it. And then these are like so old that it's time for them to be thrown out. This, this, and this as well. So that is it for today's video. I absolutely love the way my kitchen turned out. I feel as if I still even have some more space to like organize things. I hope you guys also got some inspo and organization ideas, especially if you have a small kitchen like myself or if you're just looking for creative storage solutions to maximize your space. I will make sure to have all of the stuff listed in my Amazon storefront. Anything that's not from Amazon, I will have that linked down below for you guys as well. If you guys made it this far, in the video and you haven't subscribed make sure to hit the red subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys right back here in my next video bye